Stir up thy power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let thy bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Failure of my depth perception. Our first reading this morning is from Zephaniah. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments, he hath cast out thine enemy. The King of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love, he will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sor sorrowful from, for the solemn assembly, who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. Our Psalter this morning is from Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, Jehovah, is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall you draw waters out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall you say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Our epistle this morning is from Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Our Gospel is from Luke. 
Then said John to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. And begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid under the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying to them all, I indeed baptize you with water. But one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hands, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his garner, but the chaff will he burn with fire unquenchable. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. This concludes the readings for this morning. Jesus freak out.